Hello, my name is Nate and welcome to my art lab. I'm very excited to be working on a 24 by 36 inch canvas again tonight. Um, the art lab theme for this month is all about the color orange. Pumpkins are everywhere in the fall and um, I know I challenge everybody to either do something with a pumpkin or to use the color orange and that's what I'm going to do tonight. I'm not going to do a pumpkin but I am going to do something very fall color inspired and hopefully quite a bit of this orange will show through. So I'm going to do another tree swipe tonight, but instead of going, um, uh, swiping from the center out this way and then doing my tree kind of all the way up the canvas, I'm going to swipe all the way across this way and, uh, and then do a, a couple of trees, maybe one big one on one side and a couple of uh, uh, other smaller sized ones. So. I'm um, hoping to get three of them in on this canvas. So, so instead of a portrait landscape, um, hopefully it will be a landscape landscape. <laughs> so that is my plan. I'm going to walk you through my colors. This is going to be my swipe color, and I'm hoping for some cells here. So I have mixed this with my regular pouring medium, which is two parts Floetrol, one part PVA glue, and one part gloss varnish. Uh, but then I have also added in some um, Australian flow trawl into this and I've thinned it down much thinner than my other colors. It barely leaves a little bit of a mound. So I'm hoping that that will give me some, some good cells when I swipe with it. Um, then I have Amsterdam Naphthol Red Medium. I have um, Amsterdam Vermilion, which is a beautiful... Um, pumpkin orange color. I really love it. Um, and hopefully you can see the consistency of the paint. It does leave a mound on a mound, but it disappears fairly quickly. So this is a kind of a medium thick consistency. Um, I don't want to go any thinner than that because when I do my tree swipes, I want them to hold their shape. If I used really thin paints, it could shift and, and drift a little bit. So I, I use this kind of medium or even thicker consistency than this. Um, this is uh, Amsterdam Primary Yellow. Hopefully this will add some nice light color to it. Um, I have Amsterdam's Raw Sienna. And then I have three metallics. I have Champagne Gold from DecoArt. I have Amsterdam Copper. And then I have DecoArt Garnet. This usually gives me some really good cells, so I'm hoping that uh, we'll do that tonight. So I have uh, several different sizes of plastic file folders that I've cut up into different sizes that I'll be using to swipe with uh, for the initial swipe. And then I have a couple of different sizes of palette knives that I'll be using to build the trees and a little skewer that I'll uh, draw in details with. And yeah, so let me put on some music for you. Um, oh, I forgot to tell you, I'm going to do a, um, I'm going to drizzle the paints on the canvas first and then tilt it out, um, hopefully to cover all of my sides and edges. And uh, because once I start swiping, I can't tilt anymore. I have gone ahead and prepped the, uh, the sides and edges with the naphthol red um, because a lot of these colors are either transparent or semi-transparent. So I don't want the canvas to glow through on the sides. Uh, yeah, so uh, now let's get started. They call me sassy when I'm strolling down the street They call me classy when I'm serving just the best I can be deadly when I find somebody lovely And now I'm ready like a kitty in a dress Don't call me mean, I just want someone to love me Someone to lick my wounds and kiss my aching body My desperation knows no termination, baby Now would you love me if I was somebody else? Wish I had a tail Wish I had a tail Cause if I did then I would swing it, be swinging it in front of you If I had a tail If I had a Swing it to the beat, that be a mover And everyone be jealous of my touch 
horizon silver line So here we have the wet results. Man, this gave me some trouble. <laughs> that as soon as I uh, started tilting around that, uh, the ribbon pour that I did, um, I noticed that that garnet was taking over. It made it a lot darker than I was expecting. Um, and then I didn't quite have enough paint. I thought I mixed up, I did my math and I thought I had um, uh, plenty of paint, but I had a hard time covering that canvas. Um, and then uh, some of the swipes were, I had to go over a couple of times, but I'm really happy with it. I think it's beautiful. This um, champagne gold uh, settled up beautifully. Um, it's showing on camera here a little like silver, but it is definitely a pale, pale gold. Uh, the swipe itself in the background is beautiful. There's lots of shimmer from all the metallics. I love the transparency of that. Um, and I did end up using, adding in some black. I wasn't intending to do that, but um, in order to have some definition and contrast in the tree, I had to add in some black. And I did mix that. There was some leftover black that I had, and I mixed, added in a little bit of um, Australian flow trawl to it uh, just to try and get a little more transparent and a little few more uh, cells and texture through there so you see these cells right here that came up 
That's because of the Australian flow trawl that I used. Yeah, but this is quite beautiful. I got a little close to the canvas here in a couple of places. I might have to touch that up. I'm definitely gonna have to touch up my sides. Look at that. That's ugly. <laughs> That's okay. I can paint those later. I think this little tree is my favorite. I really love the shape of that. It turned out really nice. Why is my camera not picking up these colors correctly? It is a little better when I get close. Yeah, this, this little tree is beautiful. I love the shape of that. It's quite simple, uh, but I love how that, that little fold right there uh, creates some depth in it. Yeah, and then this really big one on this end. So adding those extra layers of swipes really creates kind of a 3D look. Look at that right there in that trunk. You can really tell the texture in that. Um, I love that. I hope this doesn't dry too dark. We shall see. But I think this is beautiful. It turned out really well. So let's stay tuned for how this dries. Okay, somebody call 911 because there's definitely an inferno happening. <laughs> I really wanted this to look more like, you know, fall, autumn leaves, that kind of thing. Um, and if I had gotten more of the cells in the, uh, in the swipe, I think it would have, but this definitely looks like a forest fire. So maybe somebody who is a fireman would buy this or somebody could gift it to uh, a fireman family member or friend. <laughs> but I'm really happy with it. I think it's really beautiful. That orange really makes this glow. And there's a lot of beautiful sparkle in here. Hope you can see that. Really nice. I'm super happy with these tree swipes. Um, really great depth and, you know, uh, character, personality to them. You know, each one of them is a little bit different. I still love this little one right here. It almost looks like, you know, uh, it's got arms and it's uh, looking over at the, the bigger tree over here. Uh, and I, this is really nice. I love the, the, the way I swiped this out. So yes, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, please uh, follow along in the playlist for all of the uh, collaborators in Nate's Art Lab. We have a, 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 so many different techniques and different ways to use the color orange. And um, immediately following this, in this video are some photos from the Art Lab members who don't have um, a YouTube channels. So I've included their art here at the end of this video. So definitely check those out. Uh, lots of great creativity this month. So thank you very much for watching and following along in the playlist. And go make some paints and be fearless.